Well, let's do selection anyway. Yeah, well, you what, name what it. Brought in, um, what made you bring in Jared Leanett and move out Riley Bonner? Oh, I think consistency of form has been an overriding factor. There's no doubt that, um, that Leanett's been in really strong form in the sample. So when Riley hasn't been able to get it done at the level we'd like. It's pretty simple, the Lysett for Marshall. The combination of Lysett Lysa and Laddams, what are you looking for there? Yeah, it'll be very similar to what they've done before. Um, you know, as you said, it's simple that we kept Pete in the side based on Todd going out, unfortunately. And um, I, I suspect it'll be more Scotty Ruck than, than Pete because Pete's got um, a few more weapons in the front half. So, uh, you know, I think it'll be something like a 70 30 split. Is it challenging determining how many minutes Lysett plays because of the timeout he's had? No, I suppose the, the only bonus of the timeout is he's fit. He's physically fit. He's been able to train a lot and he's, he's, he's in really good shape. So, you know, he, he'll, he'll probably be. Um, He'll be blowing a little bit early after a month without footy, but I'm sure he's a, he's a pretty good athlete, so we'll, we'll be pretty comfortable he'll play a full game, no worries. Significant milestone for Robbie Gray. Can you tell us what he's meant to you and what he's meant to the footy club? Oh, he's been a star for our footy club. He's uh, been a star for me personally. He's just done everything he, you could ever ask of, of your great players, and Rob's been one of those players who'll go down as one of the absolute best at Port Adelaide. I uh, just hope that he gets some um, team success that he's craving. Do you have a favourite Robbie moment? Oh, jeez. Um, there's plenty. Uh, it's, it's hard to go past last year, to be fair, in, in such a disrupted year with the, the you know, the, the game up at the Gabba and you know that that position on the ground, such a hard position. But ice in the veins. He went back and did what he does, and I think um, look, everyone just we kind of don't need to have a Robbie moment because there's so many. We just go. We just love watching Robbie play. Ken, whatever the result, if, if it's a win, people say it was the expected win. Port had yep. so. What's more important about the way you go about getting that win? Uh, we've been building our, um, our form a little bit better, I think, and we've been building a game style that we know we're, we're more capable of, and I think we're looking for those, those uh, improvements as much as anything. We know the game's going to be tough. We know how much the, you know, the Gold Coast have you know, come off a pretty disappointing loss themselves, and you've know, you only got to listen to the narrative through their footy club this week that they're ready to go, and, and it's going to be a big game. And uh, you know, They're hard to beat up there at any time. They're hard to beat anywhere, but up there particularly hard. So for us, we've just got to concentrate on our style of football that we know is successful and you're right, um, you know, we've just got to go and play the way we know we should play. Is there a ratio this week, but is he close? Is he a chance next week or probably the week after? Yeah, look, he's a chance for next week. I wouldn't say he's an absolute lock for next week. He's got, a, you know, he's still got a bit to do. He's just started running a little bit yesterday, so there's a little bit to go for that. But, you know, as always, we, we'll tell you up front when we know exactly where he's at. But at this stage, uh, I suspect he'll be some chance for next week, but probably more lock the week after. And we love Butters and Dersma. They're running now, which is great. Um, Dersma maybe slightly ahead of Zach though. Yeah, no doubt Xavier's ahead of Zach. Um, you know we're, we're where the boys are at, and they're you know they're both progressing pretty well. But um, you know it's still a long way to go, particularly for Zach. I mean, but for, for Xavier, we think you know he's closing on a return date, so that's exciting. How have you addressed the turnovers this week that obviously plagued you last week? I oh, know we address them here, all our turnovers every week. It's it's um, you know it's one game, two games. You know you play against different sides, you play a different style of football. But for us, we're always mindful. I think last week, I think the key about our turnovers were they were. They were really poor self-inflicted turnovers and we've been much better at that over the last 18 months and uh, you know, that's where it was a bit surprising. We, we turned some difficult ball, uh, some easy balls over for the opposition and they made us pay. Hamish named as the medical sub, how close was he to actually being in the 22 instead of, say, Lena? Oh, I know he was, he was close, but I think Jared's form has been clearly more consistent at, at the sample level even, and, and Hamish has been back and for a couple of weeks. He's had a mental freshener up as much as anything, and I think um, you know, an opportunity for him to be back amongst the team and a part of the team going up to the Gold Coast, particularly in Robbie's game, I think it's an important moment for him too. So he'll, he'll come on if we need him and, and do everything we possibly can ask him. And he's got great maturity and he's got great flexibility too, so that's what you're always looking for in your, in your medical side. Can, can you are you still confident you've got enough time to get in a real role and build enough momentum for the back half of the year? Yeah, it's plenty of time. I mean, but you, you know, you, everyone would love it to be today and, and continue it on, but it's a long time to keep it going. We've, we know we're, we're, I've said this publicly, we know we're not up, quite up the top with the best, but we know we're capable of being up there with the best, so we've got to continue to improve, and if we do that, we'll get there. And your transition, particularly from behinds early in the year, was incredibly crisp, but it's either been worked out by opposition teams or you're not doing it as well. We'd, which is more challenging for you? Uh, I think it's. Yeah, I think the game always tightens up a little bit as the season progresses. Rounds one to four, one to five, you can always see a lot more open field play. You know, I think even last week we showed some moments where we were able to get the ball. You just don't get as many opportunities, I don't think, at this time of the year. Um, you know, we're we're not quite as as sharp as we were in that space. We've got some people who haven't been a part of the team for a good period of time who um, you know play a significant role in that space. So you know, we're 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 a work in progress in, in lots of our game. 
take anyone extra with you just in case? Yeah, we'll take Marty. Marty Fredericks will come up with us as well as an extra traveller. So, um, you know, we've, um, anyone in our footy club who plays in the defence gets a chance to come nearly at the moment. We've got about 10 or 11 of the boys in it. So um, good on them. They're, um, they're all working really hard. And uh, Marty will be the, the traveller. He's, he's easy another good story for our improvement. Okay, we know Collingwood's looking for a head coach. Is Vossi ready to be a head coach again? Yeah, they're, they're, look, they probably understand. I'm going to I didn't realise, but I'm probably going to get a couple of those questions about Michael's more than ready to do what he needs to do and what he wants to do. Um, he's been a high quality assistant for me. He's been a great, a great support and help all the way through. Um, I could only wish him all the success. And if anyone was looking for a great person and a great coach, Michael Boss would be someone that you would, should certainly talk to. I think there was reports this week about Robbie Gray being on the brink of triggering a new contract extension. Is there any light you could shed on that one? No, because unfortunately I don't do the, the list management side of things, which is Jason's job. But I'm sure if um, if it's been reported that Rob's getting close to a trigger, I reckon Rob must be getting close to a trigger. So um, he's a pretty important part of our footy club. And any time we get Robbie Gray still at our footy club, we're happy. And Ken, the McKay bumpy obviously got off last night. Did, did you have a thought generally on what it means for the game? Uh, yeah, I suppose I had a thought. I mean, it was, it was a good result because the rules don't determine that, that the player deserved to get suspended, I don't think, at any stage. But I think there's enough movement now in the, in the injuries, and in the head injuries particularly, that, that we're more aware of that. But if you're going to probably enforce every bit of injury or contact that comes to the game, it needs to be written into the rules, probably. Just on the concussion, Marshall was listed as one to two. How's he actually going? He'll be fine next week.